Hi guys, my name is John Mendes Sondra and today I will be demonstrating on how I painted this painting. So first of all guys, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to see um, all my um, coming videos and tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to paint a cab inside an auto forest. But before that, I'm going to introduce to you first my materials. This is my paint palette. I have the titanium white, the towel blue, the um, brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you always observe first that I'm always using um, limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn on how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay. And these are my brushes, guys. I have... Um, Two inches flat brush. You can also use one inch flat brush, guys. I have um, number eleven um, flat brush, long handled. It is it is a nylon bristle, guys. And I have number eleven uh, flat um, um, bristle flat brush. I have also here um, number nine uh, short handle flat brush. And I have number two. A liner brush or round brush you can also use number one zero double zero triple zero um, round brush or flat brush or or liner brush for the details guys okay and this is my canvas it's um 12 by 10 inches that's three coats of prime gesso or i think um, i used um white acrylic on, the on this white acrylic paint and water guys um to thin the paint so you should i always will use water not any medium um, to to mix and thin the paint okay so i'm going to start now with the uh, background color so i'm going to add first the background color set and i'm going to start sketching and adding the details okay so if you're not paint with you just follow everything i did on this video so first you should wet your brush like this you should wet your brush before you can start painting or mixing the colors so again guys I'm using water to thin the paint. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna add some quayous background gas. So I'm gonna make it misty and I'm going to add some lights on top of the cabin. So I'm gonna put the cabin here. And I'm gonna use the blue with a little amount of black with some white. So I think it's too much. So I'm gonna use some uh, red and some yellow to make some greens so just follow everything I'm did guys or I'm doing here gonna add some black and some yellow guys to make some green colors so I'm going to just play the colors here just observe what I'm doing guys I use the white it's uh, something like grayish guys the background something like gray yes so i'm gonna add some yellow yellow and white then i make this um, background lighter so i'm gonna add so much white in it So just um, her, um horizontal strokes guys, oh, vertic no, sorry, vertical strokes, sorry guys, so everything should be um, on vertical strokes to create a one stroke or clean um, color, so I'm gonna add some white here. here create some um, depth guys of variation of colors or by variations of um, values so just add white just add this just the white guys to create something like this okay I think that's better 
And I'm gonna add some dark colors on top of it. But still, I'm still gonna add some colorful, some colors on it. Then I'm gonna add some dark black and yellow. And some green guys, so just blue, yellow, and green, and black. Okay. And also here, got yeah, some blue color and yellow. Just play the colors, guys, and don't be af don't afraid to use it to to apply and just mix and apply it on the canvas. And just blend it very well, like this. Just do it smoothly, like what I'm doing. Okay. So just relax and just... Just, uh, um... And just enjoy, yeah just enjoy what, what you're doing right now so i'm gonna use black guys here i'm going to make this part dark the floor or the the yeah, the floor of the forest but later guys i'm going to add lots and lots of um colorful uh falling leaves on the floor of the forest so well, i'm gonna do it later but to add some reds and yellow here to create some brown colors and with a little amount of blue and some red also and some black to create some depths or dark tones okay so it's gonna it's gonna blend here Some black colors, some blue, here also some darks and reds, so it doesn't matter guys what, you're gonna, what colors you're gonna use or you're gonna put in your canvas, so it will become dark, that's fine, so it's, it's gonna add uh, lots of dark colors in this part. So can I stay yellow here? Okay, so that's it. So I'm gonna use another brush guys. Yeah, maybe later I'm gonna let it dry first and because it's still wet so I'm gonna let it dry first and we're gonna add some details later. So I am planning to put the cabin here, it's not that big, so just small cabin here with the light, like a brace of light on top of it. Then I'm going to add some big trees inside of the cabin. Then I'm going to put some uh, fallen um, autumn leaves on the ground, and also some autumn uh, autumn trees, like yellow trees and red and orange beside the cabin. Okay, so let it dry first for this 5 minutes and then go back adding more details. Okay guys, so I think the paint is already dry now and I'm going to start adding the details. So I'm gonna do first the distant um, trees behind the cabin. Cabin, yeah. So, I'll be using um, grayish um, color guys. But it should be lighter than this color here. So that is uh, we, we, we will create a misty um, effect. So here, I'm going to use the black and the blue and the white. Okay, so here we have the color um, grayish. So add more white, guys, to make it grayish. So it's not that. Uh, it's not so gray guys it it's something like a bluish gray okay so let's gonna put it here let's add more 
লাগ তুমি কি দরকার So it will be uh, so just so the I'm using uh, by the way I'm using the number nine flat brush uh, short handle so uh, I really forget to engine it add more And also here. This also adds some. Um, okay. Add more here also. You can also put some um, other trees, guys, in a different direction. Or something like slanting trees. Like that. Okay. And also here. Okay. branches okay that's it so we have no uh, background forest guys and I'm going to um, yeah that's it so I think I'm going to add more um, I think leaves I'm going to add some leaves in it so I'm gonna use this uh, flat brush guys um, number 11 so, um, Going to use the blue here to make some green and yellow and red to make some um mature green so I'm gonna use the yellow again and white to make some lighter color so it should be lighter guys okay lighter than that so I'm gonna use I'm gonna add white just a um, small amount guys not too much, just enough. So I think at, uh, again, guys, it's just stopping a punching technique. Okay, and don't overdo it. Always remember that. I'm gonna use the yellow, I'm gonna add some yellow guys here and some white more white so I'm gonna add some highlights here but I'm not, I'm not gonna add so I think I'm going to remove um, I'm, going to, I'm not going to add so much highlights guys because I, I want to preserve the dark uh, this part so it will be a little dark because I'm gonna going to emphasize the foreground or the the all this um, the cabin or the or the subject of this painting okay so just a little um, high trees tree leaves don't put too much in it so I'm going to add more darker color here ok 
Okay, so that's it guys, so don't overdo it, just leave it this way. Um leave more spaces like you see it untransparently. Okay. So I think I'm gonna move it um a little down. So I'm going to add some um, here guys the floor the first floor so I'm going to make it dark here this, this part so I will be using the same brush guys the number 11 black brush so I'm going to use the blue here with some black color and some white to make lighter so I'll just I'm gonna make it tighter guys here. I'm going to add some black color. I'm going to make the the bottom guys uh, darker. Okay, so I'm gonna add some dark gray sky color here. Okay, that's it. You know, I'm going to add uh, the cabin, guys. So I'll be using a smaller brush, I'll be using this number 9 flat brush or candle. And I'm gonna use the dark color, so I'm gonna use this black with some red and some yellow, so it will be a, a little brownish guys color. And just gonna put it here. So gonna sketch it here. This will be the So with the roof guys so let's do the sketch first so we are uh, simple design of a cabin guys Having um, okay, so it will, it will be in the center of the painting, and then also the chimney here. So it's not the chimney on top of the. top of the roof okay so we're gonna fill it fill this with dark colors so I'm gonna use the black in here I'm gonna some, I'm gonna some blue color Okay. 
going to add some black color here but I'm gonna leave it um, the roof like this guys so I, <laughs> I add some dark so I'm gonna leave it that way because I'm gonna add some light color on that so I'm gonna use the white here so I'm gonna add it here to make a lighter color and some bluish color here just gonna add some light color on the roof It will be a lighter grey guys But later guys we're gonna add more lights on this um, cabin or uh, on this roof. Okay, that's it. So we have another cabin. Cabin um, first coat. And I'm gonna add more details here. So I'm gonna big I'm gonna add more light on this here and some yellow trees or autumn uh, autumn trees. So I'm gonna put it in back of the cabin or the, the house. So I'm gonna use this yellow and a little amount of red to, to create some orange color. So I'm gonna put it here. This will be very light, pink, light um three guys. I'm going to also add some red here. So we'll add some darker tones. So we just you guys just tapping a punching technique. Okay, that's it. So later we're gonna add more details on the tree. Okay. Then on the floor guys, on the floor of the fire, so we're gonna add more colorful yellows and red hoo here. This will be um the falling leaves guys. So we're gonna add more red color. It's gonna add more red color here. Okay, guys, you can use the tapping or punching technique. Like what I'm doing. bottom on the floor guys okay, I'm gonna make some dark color here just gonna add some shadows guys here shadows of the cabin okay, okay so that will serve as the cap the shadows then we're gonna add some light color so I'm going to use the yellow here with some white. And we can add some light colors. This will be uh, um, the highlights, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to place the the light on the 
on the right side so this will the light the light source case will be the right side uh, right type right uh, on top of it okay. so I have more highlights here Then add some yellow and red, so to be an orange and white. more highlights guys you can use a punching or tapping technique it doesn't matter guys if it's um can add more red and yellow here But later, later guys we're gonna use the bigger brush to make to do its um uh, wash. So I think this one is um still wet. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna add details on that now. So I think I'm going to add some falling leaves on the roof guys, the cabin. So I'm gonna use this yellow with some orange in it with some white. So I'm just gonna add some falling leaves on this roof. some white to add more highlights okay, so let's add more white guys and also on the top, top of the chimney okay And I'm going to add some highlights guys on the on the top of the so I'm gonna use the the existing grey color here, blue is grey, I'm going to add some white in it to make it lighter. So I'm just gonna add more white here. Just make it uh, lighter guys. paint still wet so it's really hard to add another light color okay so i think we're gonna we're gonna do it later we're gonna add more highlights later some more white color yeah it's still wet guys And uh, add some brown color, so I'm gonna use the red and yellow here with some black. And I'm just gonna add some highlights on the chimney. And uh, I'm gonna put it on the right side. I'm going to add some little uh, color highlights on the left. Okay, that's it. So you have another chimney. That's great. It looks great. Okay, now I'm going to start adding some highlights on the 
on the colors on the on the body or the the wall of the of the cabin and we're going to add more yellow gonna use some yellow to create some brown color and here we're gonna use the red and yellow and black okay i think i'm gonna use this part guys some yellow and black but i'm gonna make it lighter so i'm gonna use the white put some design here also okay. I think it's still wet guys so I'll just try to wet so I just swap guys um, one stroke from left to right okay and also here there's one strokes from left to right okay I don't overdo it guys leave some spaces and also here okay. and I think it is still wet so I'm gonna add more highlights later I'm gonna add yeah, yeah so I'm gonna let it dry first and I'll add more later. Okay, so we have now the cabin. So what else? So I think I'm going to add the highlights on this um tree on the back of the cabin. I will be using this number 11 um, flat brush guys um, nylon so I'm gonna use this white uh, the yellow sorry and white here so it will be a very highlight guys just yellow and white guys remember that so again guys the stopping and punching technique so put it on top of the of the dark um, dark orange color just put it on top of it Just put it on top of the color guys of this uh, dark color. Let's add more yellow here. Then guys just tapping a punching technique. Okay, then let's can add more highlights. So I'm gonna add more white and yellow here to add more intense light. Mm-hmm. 
Let's do it slowly. Yeah, so we have now the highlights of the um, yellow tree. And I think that looks beautiful. And we're gonna add more highlights here on the ground. So I'm gonna use the yellow here with some white. So again, guys, a stopping a punching technique. And here also guys on the sides, so I'm gonna use the red here. And we can add some highlights also. Then I'm going to add some dark color here. Some blue color. And some red, black, okay so I'm going to use the other brush case, the number 11 flat brush um, bristle, so I'm gonna mix for green guys, so yellow and red, uh, no yellow and blue I'm sorry, and white, more yellow and more red. So let's add some leaves guys or some grasses. And to add some more blue and red here. And also here. You can get to stopping a punching technique. That's all you're gonna do to create this effect. the black create more depths okay then I will be using um uh, I think it's the smaller brush to add more um twigs or so I'm gonna use this brown color here so I'm gonna use this brown guys to add some more tweaks. I'm gonna use the white. I'm gonna use some more white to add some pathway color guys here. So I'm gonna use this. Yes. Some pathway. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this um, brown color here with some black and some blue color. This will be a pathway, guys, to the house, to the cabin. So, just um, using this number 9 flat brush, guys, don't overdo it. Just add some random um, blue um, hole on the ground. This will create an effect that it has some pathway. Yeah, that's it. So it has now a pathway. 
Now we're gonna add more trees on this cabin. But I think this is wet. No, this is um, sorry. <laughs> this is um, already dry. And I'm gonna add more details on that. So I'm gonna use the brown color here. So I'm gonna use the red and yellow and white. More white. Oh, yellow. So just cover it with the color, guys. The light color. This will be some falling leaves on top of the on top of the cabin. We can add more white to add more highlights. Okay. So we have now some fallen trees on the on the roof of the cabin. So we're gonna add more highlights here. I'm gonna make this part really really light. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add more highlights on the roof guys. I'm gonna use this white in this gray color here. But make sure guys you, uh, you should um, clean your brush first. I'm gonna add more white. We just put it on top of the car, guys, and you can have the the highlights on top of the cabin. So I think guys, I'm going to add some highlights here on the right side of the cabin. So I'm going to use again this brown color here with some more white, and I'm going to add some highlights here. Okay. And also here. Yeah, that's it. So we stop this way, that way. That part, stop that part. And I'm gonna use the white here with some blue color so it will be some bluish color guys then I'm gonna add I'm gonna apply it here so it will be darker guys so I'm gonna add blue oh no black I mean black guys okay and here also okay here also just caref careful with the stroke guys you can use smaller brush if you want to if you're having a hard time using this um, flat brush ok that's it so now we're gonna add some um, I'm going to add some window guys so I'm gonna use this black color here I'm gonna add some window. And also on the back of the house. Okay. Then I'm gonna use a smaller brush. This number two liner brush. So I'm gonna use this 
with more red color okay. just add red on the existing light color guys right. okay. I'm gonna add a cross okay. and here also Okay, so we have no the windows of the cabin. Okay, and that's the cabin that looks really great. Then we're gonna add some lines guys on the roof. So I'm gonna use the black here and gonna mix it with the uh, existing color here to make it lighter. Now we're gonna add some lines here. I think that's too dark, so we're gonna Add some lighter color. Okay. Yeah, I think that's wonderful. And I'm going to add some big trees around this forest, so I'm gonna start it here. This will be it has some very really lot, lots of um, huge trees beside this for this cabin, guys. So I'm gonna use this black here and some red color, more black and blue color. It's a little bit of blue. Okay, so that's it. So it will be dark blue is color, guys. Then I'm gonna put the tree here. I'm gonna make it lighter. I'm gonna, use the, I'm gonna add white. So it will be a big tree beside this um, cabin. some branches okay so we have now the B tree in the side of the cabin okay but I should not forget the shadow guys so I'm gonna use this green color here dark green color so I'm gonna have the shadows Okay. And here also. I think I'm going to add um a brown or trunk of this tree here. Yeah. Using a dark color. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna add uh, some, I'm going to add a little, I think I'm going to add um, some, some, I'm going to add um, some, um, to that, um, some leaves on this, um, on uh, this, um, big tree, so I'm gonna use this red, I think I'm going to add, going to put some orange um, leaves on the tree so I'm gonna use the red and yellow guys so I'm using um, 
Number 11 black brush um, bristle here. So just a small amount of um, leaves guys, but I make it red. I'm gonna add more here on top of it. Okay, that's it. Okay, and here, guys, I'm going to add another B3 here. I'll be using this, this, this same brush, guys, the number 9 flat brush. I'm going to use this in color but darker so I'm going to use this color here with the um, red to make it reddish or brown so just horizontal put more black here Some yellow color. It's gonna be a very good three guys. Yeah. I'm gonna add some branches so make sure it's small smaller than the than the trunk. Okay, so I have now the big tree on the side of our painting. Okay, what else? So, I think we need to add some um, some leaves on the tree, guys. But I'm going to make it green, so this will be a green leaf. So, I'm gonna use this blue and yellow color here, some red color. Again, guys, just tapping a punching technique. I think I'm gonna do it later because I'm gonna add some light trace on our here on this part so I think this is okay so I'm gonna continue later guys adding some adding the adding the let's call this the the tree leaves I'm gonna use a, a dry brush guys technique on the adding the light rays. So I'm gonna use this I don't know the, I don't know if this will be effective guys but I'm gonna try this one. The good um, brush for this guys is the bristle round brush. 
then I use this one so it, it should be um, dry then I'm gonna mix for um, blue color with some white and some black color here guys so it should be a grayish guys color some black here so bring it um wipe your brush first with its existing um wet or water so you know it's um light race here but do it softly guys do it uh, like this vertically so just do it softly guys make sure guys your brush is not wet so uh, do something okay do it uh, one more more times covering this um, okay so that's what I'm talking about guys I am covering this part okay So here, okay. so as you can see, guys, we have a light rays coming from the top left. No, I mean, guys, top right, sorry. Add more white to make it lighter. Okay. Yes, that's it, guys. Add one more here. Okay, that's it. So we have now the light rays, guys. So just follow what I did in the video. Yeah. Then gonna add the. We gonna continue adding the three leaves. So I use the yellow here. And adding more three leaves. more blue and red again guys just tapping a punching technique black and yellow okay yeah then the last part guys I'm going to add the three here so I'm gonna move in and uh, down. Okay. This will be a bigger tree, guys. I'm gonna use uh, number nine flat brush, short handle. So I'm gonna use the black. I'm gonna use the black here with some um, white and blue. And I'm gonna put it here. Yeah. 
a blue base in red. Some branches here. I think this still uh, this will be a really huge tree. So I guess uh, for the for the top part, I'm going to move later. So some branches, guys. We need some branches. Okay. Broken branches. And that's it. So I'm going to add some bluish highlight, guys. But I'm gonna do here first. So I'm gonna use the white here, I'm gonna add the color here on the existing um, bluish color. So I'm gonna just put it here. But don't overdo it guys, just do it um, like this. So just follow what I'm doing. Just a short um short strokes guys, um vertical. And also here. We can add some brown color and some yellow and yeah, some green color. And also here. Okay, that's it. And again, guys, I'm gonna move it on top to see more of what the, what's on top. Then again, I'm gonna use this color. Some red, and we're gonna add some more branches. Okay. Any more branches, guys? Then we're gonna add, of course, the the, the leaves. So I'll be using this um, flat brush, guys. Then I'm gonna use the red color leaves here. So just again, guys, just tapping a punching technique. But do not add too much leaves on this. Okay, hey, that's it. Then we can add some highlights, guys. So I'm gonna use this yellow and red and white, of course. More yellow. And add some highlights on this tree.
Okay. How about that? That looks good. Okay, so here guys I'm going to add also some highlights on this tree. So I'm going to use the yellow here and some white. I'm going to add some highlights on this. Add yellow. This beautiful tree. Okay, that's it. Don't, don't add it. Um, don't overdo it. Then we're gonna add some highlights, guys, on the on the trunk. I'm gonna use this brown, this red color here. Then we're gonna use the yellow and white, of course, to make some brown color, light brown. But don't put, put too much guys. Hmm. And also here. Just a little. Okay. Just small amount of highlight guys. Then I'm gonna move down to finish this painting. Okay, I think I'm almost done with this painting, guys, and it's and it looks really great. Okay. Now I'm going to add more highlights on the on the bottom of the ground. So I'm gonna use first this green color here, guys. So some green highlights, add some green highlights here. Then I'm gonna add some darker green highlights in the. So I'm gonna use this blue color here. Then I'm gonna put it here. Then we're gonna add some falling leaves guys, so I'm gonna use this red here with some yellow. So I'm going to make it darker. There will be lots of falling leaves on the ground, especially the red leaves. I'm gonna add some highlights, so I'm gonna use this yellow here. So just put it on top, guys. Hmm. Add some white and yellow. But don't overdo it guys, leave some more spaces and yeah, some spaces. Then the last part guys, we did the highlights on the ground. So I'm gonna use this white here. There will be more highlights on the ground. So I just add white guys. Okay. 
Ini masa. Okay, that's it guys, don't overdo it, just don't overdo it. Wait. More highlights. Okay. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I think I am done guys with my cabin in the woods painting tutorial so I hope guys today you get something out of my tutorial so hopefully you you paint with me and if you wanna paint with me just follow everything I did in this video and my advice guys, guys is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to make scores and the more you know how to use your brushes that's a very important thing guys in learning how to paint so again okay, guys um, um, by the way guys keep um, please hit like add some comments and subscribe to my videos in the future um, if you're not painting me just do what I did on the video okay okay guys thank you very much have a nice day and God bless you all